you've come so far. Hello, hello, welcome. My name is Prue, or Prue Lou, and today I went to a Mecca beauty event for Stilla. And it was. So, if you remember ages ago, I went and got my makeup done at Mecca for the Beauty Loop makeup application, which I'm surprised how many people don't go and get that done. Like, it's so much fun. They convinced me to, I don't know, like it sounded fun. It was $50 deposit, redeemable on Stila products on the day, and you go and get a makeup lesson for half an hour. You could book in, choose times, and just looking on the website because I didn't actually properly catch a girl game. It was the find your go to makeup look with Stila's international brand ambassador, Diana Shelton. Diana will be hosting personalized sessions in select stores with our artistry team. Have a look, designed just for you, and learn how to create this at home with ease. So obviously it was all Stila products, and hilariously, of all the palettes they own, it was... We used the Stila Soul palette, which is the only one of theirs I own, and which is quite nice. And the Stila Glitter and Glows, of course. It's a very neutral look, and we're a good couple of hours into me wearing this look, so I went in at 10 a.m., and... It is now 3.15, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 5 hours. There, she demonstrated on one of the girls there all the looks and you could ask questions and the Mecca team were there supporting her and that was really good. So, there was only six of us in the group. I went by myself and it was quite, well, it was funny for me because like I know I, I know I do Instagram and I know that I post makeup videos but it was like really funny to them to be like, well, I think you said to me so many times like, wow, you don't even need to be here. You could be teaching this because of the look I did. And I didn't even feel like I did that good a job, but it was, she was very encouraging and supportive and definitely helped a lot of people with any problems they had. And the Mecca team are always great as always. The lovely Monty was there again. I'll chuck her Instagram down there because she's just so nice and was very helpful. This is the Stila foundation and I also used like the colour correcting primer, the step one primer and the Stila foundation plus the Peony cream blush. They're one of their putty highlighters and then applied most of it with the beauty blender. No, like the Stila beauty blender, which hilariously, yeah, I like, I know, I also own. <laughs> and it's quite, it, like it is, it's a nice sponge. And so it was really cool when you got there, there was a little set out of all the Stila products that they were going to use, that we were going to use that day. And you could, like, with a little bit of colour range options within those neutral ranges. And then she started doing the makeup and you sort of followed along and you could ask questions as you went. And she'd come around and check and make sure you guys were all, like, on track, help you with any placement issues and all that. We have the, I think I'm still going up, but the lipstick... I'll, look, I'll put it in the description, but anyway, the lipstick I've got on is one of the mattes, but they're very drying, and she recommended using them as a tint. I don't particularly think I came out with anything, so, just realising maybe I can come up a bit further. Yeah. I don't think I, like, picked up anything specifically that I wanted to, but it was actually just really nice to sit down and play with makeup under supervision. They're also a bit intimidating because I'm always like, I'm doing something wrong. Like I just, I learned this from the people on the YouTube. <laughs> now I emulate it. Uh, but it was, I definitely recommend going to the Becker events if you see them around. Like, look, I spend the money on Becker anyway. Um, I think I definitely would try and go to more of them in the future. Seeing as how well done this one was. I'd love to do the NARS or the Urban Decay one. I know I missed the NARS one, but I think I'm just gonna keep an eye on these events and see when they're coming up more and tag, tag along. So I've got the Glitter and Glow in shadow. And then obviously because I was at Mecca, I, I bought stuff. So because I had to buy stuff like Stila products, they had the brow product there, which I hadn't tried before or even looked at. And it was enough stuff to, like, play with, but I hadn't, like, she didn't go through it. But the girls next to me were like, oh, brows? We're going to do brows. And then they're like, oh, the brow product's here. So I was like, all right, I'll give this a whirl. 
So I was like, I'll just pick this up and start playing with it. So this is the innovative marker-like brush tip. Makes it easy to fill in brows with hair-like strokes. Long wear, waterproof formula. So this was their darkest shade. And I am actually wearing it right now. I just did it very lightly. But I kind of really like... It's a felt, a felt tip. You focus on that. Stop focusing on my face. So it's a felt tip, like you can see there. Which is quite like a bit of a funny product, really. But let's just... But you can see I've created like a really straight line today. Which is actually quite rare for me. But I think this product has like a lot of potential being a really easy like a super easy product to use and it's just like it's really it's a really wet formula like it's more like putting maybe liner on your eyebrows but I'm kind of digging this different this different method so I bought this I wouldn't have bought it if I hadn't had to buy $50 worth of stealer products I did want to get the new Stila eyeshadow things, but we didn't actually play with them, which I was surprised about. So I query if they're good. And you know the ones I'm talking about. I'll put a picture up. And Monty was there, of course. So <laughs> she was like, get that, get that shadow, get into the blue. And that is what we, that is what I have done. Of course, it's trapped with the packaging. Um, she was very sweet and she chose the colour for me going off. She was like, this is probably the one you would like. Anyway, so I've got Into the Blue. I'll just give a little nice swatch. And this is the colour that Monty put on my eyes last, um, on my Instagram picture that I saw and in some of my stuff. I'll, like, I'll put a picture up. You can kind of see that shift that it does. Whereas a blue purple. So a super fun product. And I'm very happy to pick it up. And then, because my makeup expert person was there today, I'm working on a wear test through with the Visi Arts at the moment. I've been using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which usually does me good. And I've got quite oily lids, so it holds it in. But um, the Visi Art, mmm doesn't seem to agree with that in one on me so I asked the lovely Monty what she recommended and she said for oily eyelids the NARS sorry I've got it on face tracking so I've picked this one up I think they were out of the translucent one yes I am just talking from down here here I am so she said this is the one that a lot of people recommend for oily lids color correct perfect set this lightweight tinted primer creates a seamless canvas that neutralizes discoloration. No smudging, no creasing, no caking, no looking back. Gently sweep a thin layer. Alright, this sounds interesting. I'm definitely... I'm not ready to give up on the Viseart eyeshadows. Hence why I bought a whole new bloody primer just to make, just to make them work. So... Here we go. And it's just like a, I do love their packaging. Like how do they make their packaging feel so lush? Um, and then as you can see, just kind of like a concealer-esque look going on. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing how it goes with those eyeshadows. Otherwise I'm, I'm giving up on them soon. Which is a bit sad for me. I don't like giving up on eyeshadows. So this is a look after wear. I mean, the foundation is nice. It's a very natural, dewy look. The lips, meh. Uh, it was a bit weird because, like, no eye primer. But the glitter and glows hold up really well on themselves. And I think she did say you don't need eye primer for them. But other than that, well, actually, this is quite a nice all-day foundation. I probably will probably will get it. And Monty did an amazing job at, like, matching doing my foundation match straight off of that and this is like the shade porcelain I believe so that is a rundown I really recommend it if you see any of the mecha events coming up and you're interested in the brand even if you're not and you just want 
like, you know, a little fun sort of thing to do. Everyone who went was really nice. A lot of us had a bit of a chat afterwards while we were looking at the stiller events of what we were, like the stiller products of what we were going to buy. And everyone was absolutely lovely. So it was... Um, I think that's all I have to say.